welcome to another turn of the Britannia campaign for Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms. Um, so, we shall just jump straight in and see uh, what has unfolded since the uh, last turn. Uh, when I can get my uh, damn password correct. There we are. Excellent. So, a message from Wales. Um, no doubt uh, regarding his uh, escapades uh, up north. Um, King Anselin uh, smelled the smoke from Wick, so he's obviously reached Wick, which is right, yeah, right the way up north here. So that's uh, that's pleasant. Um, I think uh, he will regain Inverness, um, but us Welsh will struggle, uh, and it will hurt him. So yeah, Inverness. I think that's. I think that's this one, maybe this region, but that's that's fine. It's uh, it's to be expected that he's going to retake the lands, but providing Bob has damaged them enough, uh, Swiss man's economy will fall. Um, the fight in the north continues on. Uh, we have taken uh, upon ourselves to perhaps go for Castle Town, uh, stand firm, and perhaps in three turns it might be sieged. Uh, if we have fair winds, uh, King David. So, um, oh, and a message from Swiss man, um, or the Norwegian Kingdom of Britannia, as it's now called. Um, this is my downfall. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me uh, just go over the end turn report and then I'll explain uh, what I think Bob is uh, planning on doing and what we shall do uh, this turn. So, uh, financially, we're actually in quite a strong position now. We need to uh, hopefully maintain this uh, this uh, financial gain and um, keep our production up and hopefully we'll be in a great position to continue on. Um, in terms of balance of power, uh, Wales is top militarily. That's uh, scary. <laughs> Uh, financially, is the uh, the Norwegian Kingdom of Great Britain um, or Britannia? Um, uh, production is the Norwegian Kingdom of Britannia. Uh, population, uh, it is us, England, and overall, it is the Norwegian Kingdom of Britannia. So that's the uh, end of turn report. So um, I asked Bob if he could quite kindly attack uh, Castle Town. So he's just said he's gonna, it's going to take him three turns, so I need to uh, hold out um, in Carlisle and defend against any incursions from the Norwegians for three turns, and then hopefully uh, Bob can engage and uh, defeat Swiss Man uh, at Castletown, and that will relieve the pressure off from this direction and hopefully allow me to push north um, if I'm still in a position to do so. Um, so, what I need to do is to bolster this force here, um, under the command of John de Warini, Warin? Uh, either way, um, yeah, it's gonna now become under the command of, uh, King Anselm. Uh, he's gonna be the new commander and chief of this army. Um, because I can see that um, King Magnus is um, in an honest is uh, creating his own army. So, is it Magnus? It will be an honor yeah, King Magnus, the fall. scarred. So we'll have to uh, give him a few more scars of battle uh, before the day is done. Command me, sire. Uh, so we need to move General down, and Hail we might move king. this guy north as well with some troops. Sire. Purely because if I have two generals, I can sort of divide them and uh, and surround some forces. Um, so, Sire. got these guys over the um, the pathfinder. It won't let me go this way, which is disappointing. Uh, I'll have to go around uh, Chester and uh, go around that way. Um, so what we need to do is, if we do this. Then we can move this force in there. My lord. Orders. My lord. Orders. 
Move, uh, move that force yes, round there. We'll make camp here, sire. Yeah, money's still okay. Um, sire, my lord. These two up here, that's going to really hurt my funds, actually, because that's because uh, these guys are expensive uh, upkeep wise. Um, two hundred and twenty-five, so going to struggle to maintain those guys, but that means I do have a solid infantry force in this uh, in this army. And what I do is a spy, probably just chilling in um, chilling in the fort as well, just to stop any uh, any spies, uh, any spies, enemy agents. So we've got a sizable force here that we will hopefully be able to push north uh, in a little bit. Um, his armies are not that An order. not that strong up north, but at the same time, I uh, I don't want to rush into things. I will see you um, if he wants to bring an army down battle. here, he's more than welcome to. But I've got forces that will be able to stop him. So we're. Uh, in still a strong position uh, in that regard. Um, I had some troops down here that I needed to retrain. It looks like I can, can retrain my armoured swordsman, which is good. And we can apparently get a gunsmith. That means gunpowder's uh, gun now in session. That's interesting. Um, yeah, an interesting, uh, interesting new addition. Might look into that a bit further uh, at a later date. Um, Oxford. We need to uh, look into upgrading Oxford because it's currently in a in a bad state of repair. Um, I guess, got insurgents, where's, where's that from? Is that from the Welsh in this fort? <laughs> oh, the Welsh got some spies or something about, it might have some spies. That's okay, we'll, we'll just leave them to it. Um, yeah, because I'm getting devastation as well, I bet there's... But there's rebels actually hiding somewhere. There's not a lot I can do about them. Yes. By your command. Yeah, there's not a lot I can do. If, if there's rebels about, there's rebels about. Um, I can't find them, so I'll just have to leave them for now. Um, so yeah, hopefully the um, the town hall will uh, give us a bit more health bonus and hopefully improve our, uh, our public order. And then we can look to uh, increasing the population and just basically improving things there. Um, London, it's got a lot of squalor. I don't really know how to get rid of squalor. Tough one. Don't really want to recruit too much. Uh, maybe another spy. Move, need to move these guys north. Um, My lord. Sire. Move them into that. That fort there. So I've got three. I've got a, a, an available fort there. So I guess I could buy an armored swordsman, and then pop him in, pop them in those forts there. Um, what else do we need? I don't need a spare ballista because I've got some uh, catapults uh, coming up. Sorry. So that's all good in that respect. Um, ah, 
we're going to be losing money as well. My lord. Don't really know where to begin with that. Um, it's because I put all my troops in here. Obviously, the um. not helping things but there's not a lot I can do about that until uh, until I really start pushing uh, pushing north Fleet ready, sire. so I think I've got this under uh, blockade that's a uh, that's Good. Maintain that. That should uh, help. Um, the the one thing I wanted to do actually is I want to uh, ask Bob for some uh, map information. Make an offer. Uh, purely because I want to know how far he's managed to get up north. Um, I can only see see Wick under his control, but I think he got to Aberdeen. And uh, yeah, I, I need an up-to-date view from north. Um, that's purely the reason. And I've offered him my own map information simply so that he can see what um, what's been going on in my own northern uh, northern borders. Oh, uh, I can upgrade York. That. That will have to wait. But I could really do with doing it at some point. 4,000 though. I'm gonna have to save up a lot of money to do that. Um, in any case, I think that's about all I can do. Just, uh. No, I, I won't send Bob a message. There's a. There's not a lot of uh, not a lot I need to discuss. Um, all I was going to mention was that um, I'm going to make a push within the next few turns. So if I time my push to his push, so if I push here and attack Carlisle and take it, he can't then send reinforcements down if Bob's going to apply pressure as well. So that's all I was going to mention, but um, there's, there's no real point. I think he's got a firm grasp up north and... Uh, I think you know, he's going to time it for three turns anyway, so we can basically time time our assault together. Um, I don't know how uh, I don't know how uh, Ireland's doing with his own uh, territories. Whether he's finally regained Ireland um, and he's looking to push up these these lands, or whether he's you know doing something a bit sneakier. But we'll um, we'll only turn there anyway, and we'll see. Uh, We'll leave it with him and see what uh, see what plans he's got. So save, save as Ireland. It's turn number twenty-three. So yeah, uh, that was turn number twenty-three of the Britannia campaign. Uh, check out uh, Ireland's uh, turn number twenty-three. I shall put uh, the Swedish Langsnitz, um channel in my description. Uh, in fact, all the channels will be in my description, but uh, for uh, for Ireland's next turn, check out this Swedish language state. And I shall see you all in turn number 23, where we can hopefully push north and uh, take the fight back to Swissman um, with all those armoured, heavy armoured troops um, the English are so very famous for. So I shall see you then.